Take a look at this image and this, this, and this. Now, these are all beautiful and amazing designs that were created using Nano Banana. So, Nano Banana was released a few weeks ago and honestly, it's been making Photoshop look slow. While everybody's busy with basic photo swaps, I was asking a different question. How do you make jaw dropping designs with Nano Banana? Yeah, and then you may be thinking, how is it possible to just put in a prompt and the designs get done? And how is it possible to make complicated designs like better flyers, company posters with your face in the designs and also have your logos and all that? But I tried it and I found a way that you can do all this. In this video, I will show you exactly how to create stunning designs with Nano Banana, teach you how to craft a clean structured prompt so that you can get any design that you want. This design will come with scripts layout, perfect face placement and professional looking text and logo. So watch closely and if you've not subscribed, do want to hit the subscribe button. So head over to Gemini AI and ensure that this is a two point flash because this is the latest model and where the Nano Bandana is located. So once again, I'm going to put in this prompt. So this prompt is for an imaginary award poster. This is basically what it says, a glamorous digital poster of a beautiful Nigerian actress wearing an elegant golden lace gown. So, so it also have a lot of details. I'll also be showing you how to create prompts like this before the end of this video. So do not stay down to the end of this video. Now, once this prompt is in, this is the kind of result that we get for our flyer. So like I said, this is an imaginary flyer. So I didn't really put in so much in terms of the text. My prompt was mainly focused on the background and getting the image of the female. So this prompt basically worked on the background. And you can see the results. The background looks very professional. It looks well laid. Her image, we are very consistent. The one on the background and the one that is over it. And there is no distortion at all. Like I said, if you want this prompt, I'm going to be showing you exactly how I got this prompt and how you can also get it in the course of this video. So stay till the end of this video if you want to see that. So let's try out another example. After this, I'm going to be showing you how to create flyers using your own images on Nano Banana. So once this prompt is in, this is the kind of result you will get. So this is the result from flyer and this looks amazing. Now you can actually work on the text. So like I said, my purpose was focused on creating the imaginary image that we needed for this, but you can work on it. You can create just the image and the background and then take it to any editing app to place in the text as you want it to, which I'll also be doing in this video. You can also edit your prompt to have a particular font that you want and how you want the placement to be. So let me quickly do something. So I'm going to upload this image that we just generated. Once it is uploaded, I'm going to give it a prompt like this. So I'm going to tell it to remove the text in the flyer above. And once you put in this result like this, this now you can see that it's focused on just the image in the background without adding the text. Now you can take this and go over to whatever editing app that you use to make flyers and place the text as you want, place logos as you want it to be without anything looking distorted. You can also put in the exact font you want your text to be and the exact placement you want to be and it will create it for you. So let me quickly show you how to make flyers, better flyers, um, different graphic designs using your face. This was imaginary. Nano Banana created the image for us. I'm going to show you how to use your own image to make a birthday flyer or whatever flyer at all. I'm going to show you that you can actually get specific fonts that you want on Nano Banana. I'm going to be putting in this prompt so that we can get both text, both fonts in whatever calligraph that we want. So this is a very detailed prompt. If you want every prompt that I use, just simply type prompt in the comment and I will send the prompt, the exact prompt that I used to you. And please note, I'll also be showing you how to get this exact prompt to the of this video. 
So once you hit on enter, this is the result that you would get. This is our result. You can see how amazing this look. You can see that it captured text, it captured everything that we have on the prompt and it also worked on the font just like i said you can see that i gave it specific fonts that i wanted and how i want the placement to be and this is the result this is amazing i love that every element i used and how i prompted it went smoothly so this is amazing this is something that you can try out yourself so just like i promised i'm going to be showing you how to so this was for an imaginary woman. Let me show you how to create birthday flyers or any flyers at all for yourself. Please note that this would work for any other kind of design. I'm using birthdays, birthday flyer for this tutorial, but this would work for any flyers at all. So let me quickly show you how to use your face for the flyer. Since so far we've been using just imaginary image images that we created ourselves so let me show you how to replicate your own face in a flyer whatever flyer at all so what we're going to do is to go ahead to upload this particular image that we just generated uh, once this image is uploaded because what i just need i do not need the image on this flyer i just need the background to work with so once this is uploaded go ahead and just put in this prompt say remove the image from this photo leaving just the background and the text okay if you do not want the text maybe you want a different name for the text or a different description in terms of the text you can go ahead to add it there you can tell it to just remove the image and add so and so text so as to give it more clarity once that is done this is the result you would get so you can see how amazing this looks i love that it took out everything leaving just the background and the text that would need you see that every information is still there so it worked with the instruction that we gave to it so the better your instruction the better the result you would get so what we're going to do is to upload our image this is the image i want to use on my flyer so go ahead and upload this image and the background from our flyer okay so once this is done go ahead and put in this prompt say add image to to the flyer in image one properly blending it into a professional birthday flyer now i actually uploaded this image before this one but Gemini AI interchanged it i don't know why but this is image two and this is image one make sure you upload the flyer first before the image once that is done this is the kind of result you would get so you can see our flyer it is properly placed the i love that the image blended well there's no distortion it blended well into the flyer the text everything is well placed so this is something that you can try out you can retry for different aspects if you like a particular background you can just go ahead and tell gemini ai to remove the images and every element there leaving just the background and then you put in this prompt and in a few seconds you're going to have something mind-blowing like this so let me quickly show you how i was able to get those mind-blowing flowing prompts that i have been using so we're gonna go over on pinterest and once we're there we're gonna search for birthday flyers you can also search for any other flyers or whatever it is you want to work on so once you've searched it yeah you're going to see a lot of birthday flyers that you can work on there's literally a lot in here there are better flyers there are any other flyers at all you just have to pick whichever one works for you so let's try out this one so what you're gonna do is to go ahead to download it once it is downloaded head over to chat GPT so once this is uploaded just go ahead to tell chat GTP to analyze the photo above and give you the exact prompts used in creating it. Now, once you enter, ChatGTP is going to analyze this image and this is the result you get. As you can see the analysis, it gave us the theme and style, the visual composition, typography, literally everything used. So, and then it went ahead to give us the prompt. You can see the prompt over here, this part that has the copy code. You can go ahead to refine this prompt to specify what you need it for. After that is done, all you just need to do is just copy this prompt and take it over to Gemini AI and it will create the image for you. So this is basically how to create different flyers using Gemini AI.
them in AI. Let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.